Hello, I'm Ed Trinsome and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Nazi Britain, the British Empire. So, we've got a few wars going on. Uh, well, one big war. It's Sweden as a front. Uh, the Soviet Union, a couple of fronts down here. And we're planning to use Sweden as another front into Moscow. Uh, we might have a war against Saudi Arabia coming up. We might consider Afghanistan. Uh, but right now, it's just being able to uh, lock down some places that we care about. So, let's get going. You really don't trust me, do you, Germany? Oh, mechanized! Hello, mechanized! We're gonna wait for the tanks to appear as well. They're getting there. I believe in you, tanks. Right. Ooh, I completely forgot that I was going to put some fighters here last episode. Uh, spiteful. Let's get ourselves... Uh, 400. And in addition, we'll get ourselves close air support. 400. Ooh. Well, let's let's make that a little bit higher then. 600. Sure, they've got their own fighters here, so I feel we need to uh, up our game a little bit. I don't know why they've really got fighters over here, but sure. Um, we've got fighters over in the Iberian region that we could probably just get rid of. I'm trying to figure out where you're based. You're based over here. Okay, uh, let's just, like, remove you to reserves, because it'll free up the manpower. And I will give you an ace, because you're going up against opponents over here. So, uh, there we go. Take them down slowly. It's not as bloody as it used to be, like, before the patch. Before the patch used to be, like, fighters go against fighters. Okay, everybody dies. Increasingly, actually, fighters went against bombers and be like, yeah, those died as well. Uh, but now it's a little bit, you know, slower, more fair. Oh, hello. We've got our light artillery and also have a kitty attack. Kitty. There we go. I no longer have a kitty attacking stuff. Uh, Night Owl killed over Ukraine. Oh. Well, now I feel bad sending you there. Uh, I don't. I would do if I had a heart. Uh, we have the light artillery tank, which is awesome. Uh, where do I go? Here, light artillery tank. Going to replace you, even though you haven't really produced anything. With the light artillery tank. Light artillery tank, light artillery tank. That's the one, right? Light SP artillery 3, yeah. We have to move you further up the chain. Um, I guess we'll take some away from you. Some away from you. We need to take some away from somewhere else. What else? Uh, we don't use many spitefuls. Close air support is maxed out with damaged. We don't need any more. Uh, what about up here? We're still working on mechanized. We need loads more of that. Uh, we need more artillery. We need more guns. Okay, so actually we do need a lot more uh, in terms of... Um, uh, what's it called? Industrial output. So we're going to get factory output plus 20% and max factory in state plus 20%. We'll do that one. That should help. Okay, we managed to get our headway here. We should be able to take over their uh, Black Sea ports. Do we have our tanks yet? No, still mechanized. Bloody hell, these tanks take a while. What are we waiting for? Oh, tank destroyers. Okay, we've got a justification for attacking you. Let's deploy these. And they're going to be deployed as green because they're limited. Because they're uh, uh, material. Basically, they don't have enough stuff. However, I'm just going to get them training. So if I put them in here, put over the Nordic Theater, and then tell you just to, like, train. 
you should be able to get up to full strength. There we go. Fairly quickly. Uh, right. Let's get to move your asses into gear. Get over there. And you, my little friend. Um, technically, there should be another theater, but I can't want to make one theater for just this, like, group of units. Wow, you really are green. Poor motorized division. Oh, motorized division's changed its symbol. God damn it. As soon as you put a tank in anything, it's like, oh, I want to be, I want to be a tank. No, mate, you're not a tank. You're a motorized, oh, I want to be a tank. Shut up. You're not a damn tank. You're also not a lightning bolt. You're just slightly tougher than a normal motorized division. I don't want to be a tank. Oh, shut up. God damn it. Go home. This is why I'm going to play in future with the extra uh, symbol pack installed. That's that's going to be a mod that I'm just going to have from now on. Uh, I'm going to put you as an arrow. Sure. It doesn't look very good on this screen because it's really hard to see it. But... Uh, okay, let's assign you to that. Front line. Offensive line. Just go through the entire country, effectively. Oh, we should also give you a commander. I'm making some ground now. I'm gonna try and get a, a uh, uh, what's it called? Words, words, words fail me. I'm so good with words. It's like I do it for my job. Uh, I'm going to try and get a field marshal in charge of that so I can just consolidate that under one army. I think, yeah, Montgomery is in charge of something that doesn't need to have field marshal, so. Out of supply minus 50%. Yes, I would love you to do this because this is actually a really hard supply area. Radar. Sweet. Let's get jet engines. Uh, oh, we need to research rockets for... Uh, it's really hard to do that the Americas is, like, giving us that side of the doctrine tree that gets us, like, special projects and, like, rocket research and all that jazz. Um, over here, I want you all to be part of this push. And then I'm going to switch you out for Burn and Montgomery. Advanced landing craft. Which means we now do like awesome naval assaults, which I am very pleased about. Uh, still doing land doctrine. Advanced artillery is a little bit ahead of time, but I think it's good. Okay, and let's edit our mechanized division. Light SP artillery? No. Medium SP artillery? Yes. I think it was down, but by how much? Very minimal amounts. Very minimal amounts. Supply is not quite so minimal, actually. That's quite a large increase. Combat width. Ah, because this is a three combat width now. Hmm. Piercing. Armor goes down slightly. Breakthrough goes down quite a lot, actually. You know what? Let's not do that, then. Uh, I'm going to reset. Just because the breakthrough going down quite a lot is painful. The soft attack increase is really nice, but the breakthrough is a bit more difficult. Um, the extra, the extra soft attack is really nice, though. I guess if we go SP artillery there, SP artillery there. And then I drop. I need to drop another one though. Oh, my HP is already down quite a lot. You get 19. Breakthrough is basically the same as it was before. Soft tax up quite a nice amount. I don't know. This is debatable. It gives us more armor. It gives us more piercing, etc. Blah, blah, blah. 
but the breakthrough goes down. Sorry, the defense goes down a fair bit. Breakthrough goes down a little bit. Hard attack goes down, barely negligible. Uh, soft attack does go up quite an amount, but I oh, don't know. It's going to be a much more painful to manufacture. We're going to go for it, though. We're going to go for it. I can just change it back later. It'll cost us, you know, time and money and whatever, but sure. Uh, now, the motorized division. This is where it's going to get interesting, because if I switch you to a light SP, you're also going to have that issue. No, don't do that. Decrease our speed. Uh, right. How much does it go down? The soft attack increase isn't really worth it. It goes up by 26, but everything else takes a bit of a dive. So you know what? We're just going to reset that, and I'm actually going to go and ignore the light artillery tank. Mm, light tank. Medium, medium, medium. Light SP artillery. Just make you a light tank. Sure. Now that seems fine. Ooh. And we'll also need some fighters over here. Spiteful. Oh, we're running out of fighters. I've been kind of liberal with the amount of fighters I've been using in other places. Uh, sure. I'll put spitefuls on the ground. Just. We're well, waiting for 200. It'll fill up. And we'll also get ourselves um, 200 hectares. Seventy-five percent. Oh well. Uh, sure. Let's let's have our war now. Hi. I would like to declare war. Oh, Sweden's guaranteeing them. Oh no. I'm so scared. God forbid. God forbid Sweden gets involved. I'm so scared. Well, Sweden's going to hurt me. I'm going to cry. It'll be very sad. Let's get free trade. Okay, I could build more destroyers right now. I, I guess, yeah, I will. I'll build some destroyers just because I've got high-level destroyers. I can't build them here? Okay. How many ships else can I have full? There we go. I'm going to need to import steel for this because uh, these are the things that take up a lot of steel. Mm, take 200 days. Although it would be worth it, I could do other stuff. Uh, so what I will do is I'm going to grab some better battleships. Who can give me enough steel? German Reich. Sure. Yeah, we're pushing nicely ahead now. Now. Yeah, infantry divisions do not have logistics company. Let's get you one of those. Um, tanks. Ooh, what could you do with? You could get your field hospital. Mm, no, not really. I'll stick with just the logistics. Get you logistics. And we'll get you a logistics and a recon. Anything else? Engine yeah, I'll get you an engineering as well. Have fun. Go wild. Knock yourself out. What do we need? Oil. Really? Wow, okay. I thought Texas would be enough, but uh, I guess building a navy at the same time is uh, a little bit too taxing. Right. Be really aggressive. You were being cautious before. Just be super aggressive now. What do I need? Tungsten. Really? Oh, I didn't think I need to import quite so much. Uh, especially when I've got Portugal. Ah, I've got Portugal, but I've not actually got Portugal because it's technically it's um, under occupation, which means I only get a fraction of the resources.
This will be over soon enough. What am I not getting? I'm not getting all the steel that I'm requiring, am I? You know what? Screw it. I don't care. I could just stop building some of those destroyers, but again, I don't care. <laughs> I'm I'm comfortably enough in the lead right now that I don't really mind. Uh, you should have a second front here, and you should defend this. It's very important. Get the air around Stalingrad. We'll grab all of these. Ah, no, I don't want to do that. I want to... There we go, that'll do. Sure. I want you to push and do that. Aha! Aha, I'm not involved in this anymore. Sweet. We can tell them to get rid of this stupid front line. That's someone else's job to worry about. Actually, let's forget about that order as well. Shoot. I would like you instead... Try and help out over there. Okay, that did not work. No! God damn it. Ah! I'm going to go spare. I would like you to have an offensive order. Just... Why? 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 There, I'll find it. We'll do that. Screw it. I don't, I don't care anymore. Uh, no, no, don't, no, don't, no, don't, no, no. Oh, we don't have convoys. Aha! Well, that's easily sorted. I would like to build convoys instead. Yep, it's going well. Pushing Saudi Arabia is going well. Let's get our claim going on Yemen and then Oman. Sweden capitulated. Yes. Of course, still the islands down here, but sure. Here's your front line. And here's your offensive order. For now. Just push like that. We'll consider Norway in a bit. But for now, this will do. Hi. And since they haven't really adjusted for this yet, be really aggressive about it. Yeah, you are. Good. Be, like, super aggressive. Like, now. Push. Well, actually, not right now. Just get your organization a little bit more back. Um, we still got uh, air domination over here. This is not really an aggressive push. Are you set to be aggressive? No, do it. Be aggressive. What about you? Yeah, you probably shouldn't be aggressive. That's, that's quite the opposition you've got there. Um... Get a bit of a push on, why not? Uh, the one mechanized unit here can join this fray, why not? Uh, that'll give them, what, 
Four motorized. One mechanized. A lot of infantry. No tank. That happens. 100%. Excellent. And my next justification. Hi, I would like to declare war. Hi, I would like to declare war. Holding, uh, enter. So useful. Right, let's just screw it. All convoys all the time. Until I've got more convoys. All convoys all the time. Jet aircraft, lovely. What next? Uh, General's of waves. We'll get up to battleship focus soon. I'm so confused with like no divisions technically assigned to either of these. Ooh, advanced artillery. Lovely. Do like to see some advanced artillery. Uh right, you advanced. Advanced and advanced. At least we're slowly catching up on the artillery we need to do. Uh, Mechanize. Wow, Mechanize is, like, really done. We'll just remove one of them so that'll actually allow other people to have the uh, factories that have been locked up there. That's ahead of time. Yeah, I'm behind on weapons research. Just a little bit. Like, I, could, I should have started that really early on, maybe a little bit ahead of time, but instead I'm doing it, like, a month into the year it comes from. Aha, their fleet's trapped. They've not got it in port, and they can't go through Istanbul because I've got the straight. I approve. Okay. Push. Look, I'm going to decline. Just a hint. I'm going to decline. Oh, we're having fuel issues. Yeah, we're supplied pretty low right now. Right. Do what you meant to do, mechanized. Push and have fun. Okay, I can't go here. Finland, can I have military access? Will that help? Please tell me that helps. Yes. Okay. Um, in terms of air power, I could do some in the Western Steppe. But in general, it's fine. And Saudi Arabia will probably be getting up soon. They're looking at rockets. That's not allowed. How dare they? Saudi Arabia capitulated. Very nice. Hi, I would like to have uh, a new front line here. And new front line here. I would like to select all of you. Assign you to that. And then select half of you. Assign you to that. And just go for it. Go crazy. Why not? Excellent. It's all coming together. My plan, slowly becoming real. Uh, but for now, I've been a Trillisium. If you've enjoyed, please like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. We're getting somewhere. The one thing I fear is that when we go against the uh, fascists is that Germany's going to be tough. I think we can crack them. But Japan is going to be the problem. Uh, Japan are very tough. It depends on what happens in the peace deal at the end of this. I'm theorizing that I should have like the max war score by far. Yeah, 97% uh, war in my... Uh, but because they're separate wars, it's very hard to compare. Do we have a number for participation? 
There we go. I guess I just have to finish my war first. Right, who is still in? Yemen Oman and the Soviet Union. So basically, as soon as the Soviet Union goes down and I finish Yemen Oman, which is basically going to be very, very quick, uh, I should win. Whereas if we check against the fascist one... Oh no, this is exactly the same people, so we're going to be all combined into the same peace deal, I think? So I saw that like Germany was measured in thousands in terms of war participation. I'm measured in... I uh, probably got about twice Germany and a little bit more. I was hoping for better than that, but that'll do. Because I've got to take everything I can, because it's me, and of course my puppets, versus the world uh, after this, because uh, everything's going to be Axis or neutral. And neutral's me, but the important ones are going to be Axis, and those are the ones I'm going to have to fight. But anyway, I've been at Rissim. Until next time, stay shiny.